just think very quickly with me in, in, in conclusion here. When we become Christians, our life is changed. Now, don't get into the practice of saying, you know, well, how much? Now, don't get into that, well, you're not changed enough, so you're not real. Don't, don't play these, these mind games. This is something that, that we are to apply to our lives. We're to examine ourselves, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 says. We're to look at ourselves in our spiritual life and say, can I see fruit in my life? Because this is where we are to examine ourselves. This is a challenge to our spiritual lives. Jesus Christ said it's better to give than it is to receive. Yet we live in a culture today that has a health and wealth gospel that's being preached in many churches this morning. Well, if you're a good Christian, God will make you rich. Of course, that guy's usually asking for a portion of the riches that God's given you. If, if, if you're a real Christian, some preachers are saying, then you're going to be healthy. Yet I've never seen one of those live past 100. But yet, you know, that's the health and wealth gospel that's being preached today everywhere. And, and it's exact opposite, the exact opposite to what John the Baptist is preaching here. Because John the Baptist is saying real repentance changes the heart and begins to give rather than to receive. There is a dangerous misunderstanding in the church today because we do not take seriously what it is that John the Baptist was preaching. And it ought to be declared again in our day and in our time. 